Hey y'all, welcome to this video where I'm gonna dive deeper into the Eight of Cups. Uh, as we know in the African American Tarot, if you buy this deck, you know they tell you who the figures are, but they don't necessarily give you the stories behind them. So this video is meant to give you the story behind the figures so that you kind of know more about what's going on and your readings can be a little more in depth. But also, some of these figures and stories have nothing to do with the traditional thoughts process of the right away deck so it's nice to know where this deck is coming from so that you're able to get more in tune with it wow the light just went off but i'm just going to take that as an omen or a sign so let's go like eight of cups <laughs> i just saw leg box so you know there's some tricky energy going on right now but okay tour So Tor would be this guy right here. Malcolm X is in the background. It's hard for you guys to see, but hold up. I don't want to be able to get through this. So Tor is a god of four is a god of the forest who supplies animals to hunters. He's also a thunder god who appears as a storm and hides in rainbows. Most importantly, Tor appears as a leopard in initiation rites. The first pygmies stole Tor, stole fire, excuse me, stole fire from Tor, and he chased them but could not catch them. And when he returned home, his mother had died. As punishment, he decreed that humans would also die, and he thus became the death god. The pygmy god of hunting and initiating rites, and the story comes from the Congo. Now, I'm sure we all know who Malcolm X is, um, that tragedy, him trying to bring something into the community, and uh, not, the, not it falling short, but of course we had some agents. <laughs> in the community and also um, the FBI against him. And so unfortunately, he he was assassinated, right? So this is a card about of maturity, correct assessment, concreteness, growth, renunciation, sacrifice. Um, but you could say Malcolm X definitely sacrificed himself, right? And we see, maybe, maybe it's the pygmies or um, the indigenous people of the land here. I know that's hard for y'all to see, but basically listening to what Tor has to say, right? So I see this more as like a meeting, an assessment, yada, yada. I know the traditional Eight of Cups, I believe, is somebody like running away with their cup, <laughs> leaving like the other cups behind. So take that as it resonates and see how you can put that information into the readings okay all right i'm gonna end it there because it's so dark you guys can't see this lovely card so maybe go back to the beginning and check it out all right thanks peace